California just kind of, sort of, not really, but a little bit legalized polygamy. Interesting. California Governor Jerry Brown signed a, a law that will allow the state to recognize more than two legal parents for children. So when I first read that, I thought, oh, awesome. They just legalized polygamy and nobody even noticed. <laughs> That's amazing. But it, they actually go on to explain the law was designed with same-sex couples in mind who may choose to keep a third opposite-sex biological parent in their child's life. So in particular, what this case had to do with, there was an incident in which a lesbian couple was unable to care for their child, but the biological father was not considered as an alternative when the state took custody of his daughter. And of course, he wanted to be the alternative. So what this law does is makes it so that if something like this comes up again, uh, since the biological parent would still be recognized as a legitimate uh, parent along with the other two uh, in the same-sex relationship or marriage, well then, okay, everything is all taken care of and you have all these different choices and all these different uh, parents legally. So that's what it's really about and it's really interesting. And it got me thinking, man, and you guys know, if you listen to the show on a regular basis, I've argued for this before, but why not legalize polygamy? Like, I love how some of the opinion polls are against polygamy, uh, and even if you talk to some good libs who are in favor of gay marriage, they, they draw the line at polygamy. And they're like, no, nah, but I don't, I just, no, that, that's not right, man. But why? I feel like the same arguments against polygamy are the same arguments that were against gay marriage. It's just not what culture we do. Yeah. Stuff. But that's not an argument. Look, it's very simple. Uh, consenting adults should be able to do whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody else. And nobody could make the argument that, hey, you know what? There, you have three parents for that kid. That must be torture compared to having two. No, it's not. It's just societal convention. If we all grew up in a society where, where we had to have four parents or five parents, we would all think, well, of course, you have four parents or five parents. That's how it works. But it, th see, that's the thing. People don't realize what things are cultural and arbitrary, right? Uh, goofy conservatives always make this mistake. They think whatever their life is like, that's how it's supposed to be in the nature, uh, you know, it, by God's nature, right? Like, that's just how it is and that's it. You can't change it. It's like the laws of physics. We've heard those arguments before. A man and a woman is like the laws of physics. You can't change it. No, it's not. That's societal convention. Of course you could change it. Of course there's different sociological norms and different cultural things. And our job, if we want to be rational adults, is to say, Look, it's not superior to have two parents or four parents, so why would we discriminate legally when if somebody wants to be polygamous, by all means, go right the fuck ahead and be polygamous. It doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever. But, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself because we haven't even won the legal battle fully yet on gay marriage. So let's take it one at a time. We'll go gay marriage, and then down the road we'll do polygamy.